Have a listen. Everybody, it's Slab Train. Welcome back today, guys. Forza Motorsport 6 back again on the channel, man. Now, when I was in New York, we had something drop on us that I could not even believe when I seen it on Twitter, man. We had the brand new Forza 6 Hot Wheels pack come at us, man. Now, it took me by storm because I was not expecting to be what it is, man. Look at this photo that I saw when I wasn't even at home able to play, man. We had a Drift Missile Mustang and a absolutely crazy Skull Hot Rod, man. This pack is $7. Need I say any more for you guys to buy this? Because let's be honest, uh, this is probably one of the coolest packs that I've ever seen on Forza 6, man. Now, we're going to just quickly just have a quick look and just take this in, man. 2005 Hot Wheels Mustang A-Class 666. Coincidence? I don't know, man. 504 horsepower, 458 foot-pounds of torque, 3,300 pounds. We have different rims. Front... You know what? No. I'm buying it, man. No. You know what? I can't even do that right here. We're going back. I'm buying this shit because I cannot wait anymore. Now, it is pretty crazy, though, to think about where we have started from on Forza 6 to where we are now. Now, really quickly, though, I know there are a lot of really good cars in this pack. We have the four-door RS hit the storefront. We also have the Scuderia. We have the damn Camaro Super Sport. We had the McLaren with the big old wang right there. But look at... Oh, my God. Now, as I said, though, I mean, this is a huge step for Forza, and this is neat. Okay, so, with this being said, looks like when you do paint the car, the headlights become yellow, and uh, there are ways to, looks like, keep the rims different colors if you wanted to. Obviously, you can't change that, but uh, that is a dope paint job right there. Oh, my God, man. That's sick. Now, I really am hoping that they do continue to work on custom cars and upgrades in the next coming DLC packs and possibly even expanding to just upgrades that allow us to do this type of, you know, work on the cars. Because let's be honest, this is absolutely crazy, man. This is what everybody has wanted right here. Now, it may not look like it right off the bat, but if you look at all the details on this car, it does show everything that we have ever wanted in a Forza 6 game. Whatever they do, I pray that they allow us to change the front and rear rims differently and also the paint of these rims because currently they are just dangling it in our faces right now. Look at what we could do on this Mustang and then we can only do that to just the Mustang. That is it, man. It's definitely, you know... It's tough to take this in and knowing that this is the only car that does look like this in the game. So I really do hoping that they move forward in 2016 and maybe even go with more cars like this one that we are looking at. Because let's be honest, Forza 7 is a long way away and something like this to hit the storefront I think would do wonders for the game in this stage of the game. I'm just saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Let's just have a quick look on this car front to back on really what makes this car special. Now, obviously, you can see we have the front headlights with the covers on there. Something that we have always wanted to do is, you know, cover up headlights, taillights, and, you know, make it our own. We also have the front grille taken right out to expose the intercooler, as well with the oil cooling lines going down to the bottom rad. We have the very nice custom carbon fiber front bumper with the absolutely aggressive front splitter man that thing looks very nice i'm curious to see if that will break off i don't know and i really hope that we can pop the trunk and hood on this car man that's the plan anyways we have the carbon fiber front fenders already on the car so it just looks like a whole carbon fiber front end which is absolutely dope we have different rims front to back something that we have been asking for for years man absolutely years on this game and uh they have gave us this now right here now they did do this with the 350z with the dk uh they were the same rims just the back had a deeper offset and a dish to it that was really the only difference ford hot wheels mustang yeah girl this thing looks absolutely dope now let's go back to what makes this car very unique now going back we're gonna go into the forza vista here just to have a quick look see 
and uh, we do see as I said the different color rims we have these side windows actually covered up which is pretty cool little sheet metal there or something like that I don't know man now the back of it is where it gets really interesting you can see here we have the rear bumper actually taken right off for the very first time on any car in Forza 6 this back bumper is exposed and I ugh, Forza if you don't let us do this to more cars, I'm going to be so disappointed, man. We have the very nice, huge exhaust on here. We have the custom rear diffuser, rear spoiler. It just looks menacing, man. It looks very nice. It looks elegant. And overall, this is one of my probably favorite cars in the game to date. Now, this car really does show the talent of what the Forza devs and artists can do in the game. This thing is all brand new. I mean, all these things that we're looking at, this isn't something that they have copied and pasted from other games. Uh, this is all new things. And, you know, for them to show us what they can really do, it's impressive, man. It definitely is. Look at that. Oh, my God. That thing is nice, man. There she is. Big old bad V8 underneath of there, 4.6 liter, 10.29 pounds of boost running on this V8, man. I like that. I do like that. Now, I really do hope that this car is just a big tease and just showing what they are going to be doing for us. Now, I did forget to mention, actually, also, if we look at the rear window, we have stickers on the back window something that we have never been able to do something that we have been requesting we also have a colored roll cage inside of there and oh my shit that's a handbrake right there you see that oh my god we have the hydraulic handbrake in there also with the eight ball shifter customization is on point for this mustang and just something yet again that we have been asking for man and i really do hope like i said that this is you know something of things to come for Forza and if if they can do this and allow us to do this at free will um, you know big things are coming and oh my god ladies and gentlemen if you would like to see more cars like this get added into Forza 6 don't forget to slap that like button man All right, so looking at the base layout of the upgrades very similar for everything we do have the centrifugal supercharger in this my mistake also we cannot lower it anymore i wish we could but it's pretty slammed as it is we have all the basic drivetrain mods uh tires we can change we can do the width we can also do rims which i'm assuming will change yeah, I don't even want to touch that because I feel like my rims will go away. Uh, for engine swaps, we do have a 7 liter V8. We have a V10 and a racing V8 motor, man. I smell some more videos to come on this car because we definitely cannot cover everything in this amount of time. We also can do an all-wheel drive swap. So I definitely uh, would need another episode for an all-wheel drive build. I think that's definitely coming because this thing is just, oh my god, it's... It's hype, man. It really is. We're going to get a quick drive with this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get some tires spinning, man. We're on the starting grid of Road Atlanta. I figured it was fitting due to Formula Drift this weekend. Let me know who you got for this weekend's festivities, man. We're going to drive this thing stock just to see how she does. And we're going to do it at Road Atlanta, man. I figured it was fitting. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I keep asking for more things on this game. I just want to be clear, though. I'm very grateful and thankful that they did add in something different for us, for the drifting fans of the game as well, too, because I really feel like this is where it tailors us. And I just want to say a big thank you to Turn 10, all the devs, all the artists to make this happen, and Hot Wheels for one hell of a damn pack. Ladies and gentlemen, let's slide this bitch, man. It sounds absolutely beautiful. Have a listen. Oh my god, it's nice, man. It's nice. Here we go. Don't know how this is gonna go. Not good. I haven't ran Road Atlanta in a little bit. Come on now. Hold on. Here we go. Let's rip it. No idea how this is going to work out. We're going for a reverse entry right away. Holy shit. Didn't mean to, but I'll take it though. Second gear is pretty damn good. It's stable. I give it a little damn clutch kick just to keep her going. Definitely needs some work, but for a starting tune, um, it is very, very nice. And it sounds so aggressive, man. This is a brand new engine sound, I can tell. I mean, they did 
so much work on this car to bring this in. And I mean, oh my god! I really do hope that we see more. I mean, like I said, regarding the fact about seeing this maybe coming for a big update on Forza 6. Because, I mean, like I said, we're not going to see Forza 7 until late next year, man. That's a long time. And I really do hope that they continue to give us car packs for this game. Because I know there's a lot of people that really do love Forza 6 and will be playing Forza 6 for quite some time. So I really do hope that they keep bringing us content, whether it be, you know, just upgrades, but simple things. I didn't mean to go to photo mode. That's okay, though. Now, I do want to bring this in to a drift hopper. We're going to go ahead, just throw on a differential on this, and just pretty much bring this in stock. Don't want to touch much of it. We're just going to go ahead and lock the diff, and that is really going to be about it. I do apologize if you guys can hear anybody doing some gardening in the back. Uh, we got damn heavy machinery going on. I don't know why. It's damn 6 o'clock, man. Shut that shit up. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, though, Forza 6, Hot Wheels car pack. Let's get the online drift hoppers going. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are waiting on the next drift hopper to start up. Now, really quickly, fun little fact about the Bone Shaker and this Mustang. They're actually real world counterpart cars. Now, I came across this on the Forza Racing Network on Facebook. Someone dropped a photo of the actual vehicle. So, with that being said, that means that they have laser scanned this car to a T. That is pretty much the answer how they got this in the game. And I was curious about that. And that's a nice little fun fact for the day, man. I would like to go to uh, Rio, to be honest with you. Just kind of has that Fast and the Furious vibe that I'm missing right now, man. I love Fast and the Furious movies. I actually recently watched Too Fast, Too Furious again today. And, uh, oh my god, that... That has to be probably one of the best Fast and the Furious movies. Um, you know, they're all so good. You know, they're hard to pick. If you had to pick one of them, what would it be? For me, I think it's going to be Too Fast, Too Furious, man. I really do. We're going to the Nuremberg Ring in the night. Sorry. Looks like I dropped in just in time. We're going to Lime Rock for this one. Uh, probably one of the best ones that we could have done next to Road Atlanta. But I will take Lime Rock. That's not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, strap in 10 second countdown until we use this Hot Wheels Mustang. Who else is using one now? Come on. Who we got? We got the stock paint on that. We have another one right here. Little damn army style. All right. You know, not that many, thankfully. I mean, obviously, this car has been out for a couple days now. So, you know, the hype has died down a little bit. But nonetheless, still a great car. And I still want to fine tune this for an episode to really throw down some mustang tandems man that is the plan or maybe even do a tandem with the bone shaker i don't know but big things are coming with those two cars because they are just two probably of the best cars to get added into the game i know a lot of people are gonna you know say argue that it is for horizon style as well too which is you know coming back to my point as to why don't we just continue to add content for both forza and horizon 2 man that's all i'm saying and if you really want to charge us both Shit, man, I would probably pay for it. I mean, two games with two great content packs every single month? That would be dope, man. That'd be dope. We're going to start this in second. Ooh. She feels pretty damn good with the extension of the gears. Don't touch me! Now, if you guys have made one yourself, leave me down below your thoughts and how you feel these Mustangs are. We got DK's 350 up here, hell yeah. Currently in fifth. I don't know if we're gonna be going for a podium finish or not, but we're really gonna see just how these laps go. This is pretty much the exact identical interior to the Mustang that we are driving with. We got the handbrake sitting up here. We have the over-the-top crazy wheel. Obviously, it's not the wheel in the car, but shit, man. I mean, a purple steering wheel fits perfectly for this car, I feel at least. Oh, shit. A little bit too much. As I said, I'm not on 900 on this game. It just it feels very different. And I really do hope that on PC, maybe the actual physics will feel a little bit different on the wheel. I, don't, I really don't know. But uh, it would be interesting to see and then, you know, to see what else they have given us. What the holy shit? Welcome to Forza 6 online, man. Oh, I didn't touch him. The brakes are absolutely beautiful. Okay. 
losing her. Pull it back. Just keep getting points, man. That's all that I need. We're in eighth place right now. Oh, shit. We got a big ass wagon up ahead. No, 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 no. We're gonna get beat by a damn country squire. I'm not gonna be too happy, that's all I'm gonna say. And it's like turquoise green, too. It's not bad. It does sound beautiful, though. I cannot believe the sound that this Mustang gives off, man. It is so nice. Very solid car, though. I just want to see the damage, man. I want to see what is going to happen to this thing if we roll it. We're going to find out, though. I promise. May have to wait till the end of this race, but we're going to find out. We threw this in way too damn late. Or early, sorry. Early, man. I can't even get my damn words right. It's this rear diffuser, man. I feel like I'm playing Need for Speed, but at the same time playing Forza. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely cool to see. I mean, like I said, I just hope that Forza continues to build on this fantastic update. We are just moving through this pack ever so gracefully right now. Not even touching a single soul on the track, man. It's the Hot Wheels, I'm telling you. It's this Mustang. Oh, shit. No, no, that's tires coming up. Going for a tire tap. Oh, that's no tire tap, man. We Sorry. My damn window, man. Animir's gone. Oh, my shit. There are customized mirrors though, so those are actually really cool carbon fiber mirrors. Something else that I do hope that Forza brings to the game, man. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Oh, shit. That guy is that bad on that one, man. That wasn't my fault. He hit me on purpose. Just back there. Look at him. He's hunting, man. Look at him. Oh, shit. We're in 11th, though. It's not bad. Well, there's only 14 people. Never mind, man. And shit. Go for a high speed. Don't flip it. Drop the hammer at third. It's not going to the shit. Okay. Once we get those back tires, though, in the red, it just slides like butter, though, man. You can see this right now. It's pretty damn controllable, except for right there. And then we're going to lose. Okay, cool. We're going to lose our points to go with that. Look at this guy. What do you want, man? Brake checking you. Yep. <laughs> Slowest brake check in mankind. He did stall it, though, so that's pretty cool. Sorry. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, way too damn early again. What's the matter with me, man? I know I haven't played fours in a little bit, but shit. At least we got it where we need it, man. Where we got it where it counts is on these corners where we really rack up these points. Now, I think for the next build on this Mustang, uh, I'm thinking... And I'm going to definitely do some more rear camber for sure. We're just getting way too much grip on these back tires. And they're just hooking right the hell up. I'm also thinking about maybe moving up to street tires just for a little bit more grip. And then give it a shit ton more horsepower as well too. Because yes, this is nice from what we have. But it definitely could be a little bit more, of course. I'm Hella angle though. Okay. I'm thinking we're going to roll it, man. I really do want to roll this to see what's going to happen. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was pretty damn shit. What a shit roll, man. How's that even possible? How do you get a shit roll? Well, there's your answer right there. Run that grass life. Ooh. Not bad. Just needs a little bit of work. And she'll be good, man. It's like gone in 60 seconds at the very end, right? I mean, the cars still look good. Just need a little bit of work, man. A little bit of work to bring her to life. Uh, shit! What the hell was that, man? I figured I'd lag with it, considering the game lag too, right? Best way to do it. There we go. Finish off strong. We're in 11th, man. We're in 11th. We're almost hitting top 10. Let's see if we can get cracking this 10. Speaking of, don't forget to come around at 4 o'clock. We have top 10 drifts hitting the channel, man. I know everybody's excited about that shit. I am. I love top 10 weeks, man. 
and we just moved into 10th place. Can we hit 9th? We're 4,000 away. I don't think it's going to be possible, but I would like to redeem my flip, though. That's, that's what I would like to do. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Get some air on that shit. So, looks like everything stays on the car. I'm, I'm really impressed. I really wish uh, that maybe there was some damage. I don't think, man. Slap, shut the hell up and just enjoy the car. You're right, man. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I do it. I do enjoy, you know, what they've given us. I do appreciate everything about this car. Damage is great as well, too. The hood gets damage. Everything is damaged. Obviously, you can't be expecting the front and rear diffusers to be getting ripped off on this game. It's not BMNG. It's Forza 6, man. It's Forza 6. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to slap that like button. Show your support in the comment section down below. First drives with this Hot Wheels Mustang. I gotta say, I am thoroughly impressed with Hot Wheels and Forza coming together for one badass car pack. You can find it right now on the storefront. It's like seven bucks, man. You cannot go wrong for what you're getting. And uh, hopefully we continue to see these over the top laser scan vehicles coming into the game. And I mean, if it's out there, I'm assuming Forza can do it, right? I mean, leave me your thoughts down below. What five cars would you love to see laser scan? Think big, man. Think maybe movie cars. Think over the top Hot Wheels cars. Let me know down below. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box down below. Forza 6 Hot Wheels Car Pack. Chibota Slap Train. I'm out. What a slap train and welcome back guys. Um.